Hey Summit, so good to uh, be here today and give you a report and I am so excited before we get started. Let me encourage you to do something. Would you right now click the share button on Facebook? Share this with as many people as possible. If you're watching this on YouTube, go ahead and copy that link and share that right now. Now, I am so stinking excited. You know what Monday is, Jake. I'm, I'm beside myself so Monday, excited. Monday is the day I play golf. Uh, no. Really? Yeah. Anyway, hey, here's what's happening Monday. The governor's making another announcement, uh, and that means we probably are going to get to have church again, no, dude. No, hang on. He can do one of three things. He can pull back. He can accelerate into phase yeah, two. That's, that's what I Or want. he can just be stuck. We have no idea what he's going to do. Truth. And you know, we were talking last night as elders, had a great meeting last night, long meeting last night. We miss you. We want to get back together. And so here's here's what we, we're doing. And we want you to know we've been planning this and talking about this and praying over this and that we're getting back together Monday after the governor uh, meets to even talk after, some after more. After my round of golf. Uh, and so anyway, I'm going fishing if you're going golfing. We're going to get back together Monday and make some other decisions, but we have set a tentative date that's contingent on Monday. Should it's, we tell them what the date is? You want to? Yeah. June the 7th. Woo! We're talking about opening up the church again. It's going to be a different. We'll, we'll give you more details later, but it's really contingent on a couple of things. One, what the governor says Monday, but two, what I've shared with many of you is that it's contingent on getting cleaning supplies to make sure we can properly get that building in shape so that people feel safe, that you feel safe bringing your children, and that there are plenty of hand sanitizer machines and everything that takes place that we can sanitize chairs. And we've spent quite a bit of resources getting chemicals and machines to take care of that. So I'm really stoked. I'm, I'm kind of beside no, myself. I, I'm more right? excited I'm, about this than golf. But here's here, here's the deal. A lot of you hear that June seventh date, and you're you're planning right now. So that's tentative. That's tentative. We just want you to know that the elders and the staff. We've been meeting behind the scenes trying to figure all this out. So what does June the seventh look like? Be patient with this. That's what we're working out. We've got about three different options of how we can reopen the church. Uh, phases, soft openings. I mean, everything's on the table, but we want to give you that date because we just want to bring some hope, man. We're ready to see y'all. Yeah. And I mean, I know, I don't know about Edward, but I know you're ready to see me. So, I mean, man, it's just going to be good. So, and we are, we're, we're excited. And you know, I, I know church will never be the same. I believe it's going to be better. It's going to be better than what we ever dreamed or imagined. And we're going to continue our online presence as it's grown and people are watching that. And so I'm excited about that because we're reaching more people than we've ever reached in our history. And so be encouraged. The church is going to be better than it's ever been. And I'm grateful for that. I'm just excited about yeah, where that's going. Too. So, Jake, you got a word for, for our church today? I don't really have a word. I just want to encourage you and maybe, maybe even challenge you in something. You know, it's really interesting in my small group. We found out this week that one of our small group members uh, that we knew was pregnant, obviously for a long time, she's gonna be induced this Tuesday. And then we found out that another couple in our small group, uh, they announced last night that they're expecting their third child. Ashley and I just started wondering, you know, there's a lot- Y'all are wondering, y'all want another one? No, we do oh, not, no, no, really? no, on, no, 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 no. Here's what we're wondering. <clears throat> we know there's people out there in our church that are um, maybe maybe they're sick, maybe they've had a surgery, maybe they're struggling. And our small group leaders have done a great job of keeping me informed of that. But if you know somebody in your circle of influence in the community and in our church that could need prayer, that could yeah. need a meal, uh, maybe they've just had a baby, maybe you know somebody that's lost a job, um, I just, we do feel disconnected sometimes as yeah. a staff because we haven't seen y'all in so long. And so I am begging you, reach out to me, Jake at summitheightsfellowship.com and let me know if anybody that you know of in the community needs some prayer, needs a meal, uh, needs to, uh, 
have a, a visit or a phone call if they're in the hospital or something, because I, I really have a burden for some of our people that may be falling through the cracks during this time of social distancing. Yeah. And I just want to say thank you for your generosity because Jake's talking about needs that we get, we're, we're getting to meet. And, and we are so grateful that you guys have been so faithful to give and to continue to give. And we need you to continue to give because there's more needs coming. We were talking about that last night yep. at elders meetings that as we start seeing this economy change, we're going to continue to meet needs. And it's because of you and your faithfulness, you're blowing our socks off by what you're doing in your financial um, generosity and time and all those things. So thank you. Uh, Cause we're, we're, meet, we're getting to meet a really cool needs right now yeah, in our community. So thank you for doing that. Uh, got anything else? I don't. Hey, we love you. Can't wait to see you circle June 7th and we'll get back to you on details in the coming days. We love you.